A couple in Northern Virginia is growing a major following on social media by highlighting lesser known restaurants that serve ethnic cuisine. But don't call them influencers. They are children of refugees working hard to make a difference in their community and teaching other businesses how to get on the map. I sat down with the dynamic duo behind Hype Foodies. What's going on, Hype Fam? We're gonna try three different sushi restaurants with three different price points. Let's go. Hype Foodies will take you on a fast, fun, flavorful adventure through DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Your content is so interesting. It's diverse, not only geographically diverse, but in the type of cuisine you choose to highlight. How do you decide what to put on Hype Foodies page? We basically just go to places like we like to eat or we kind of grew up eating. Um, a lot of places are kind of like a small mom and pop business. I would say a lot of it is our cravings. We have a lot of cravings. Yes. It, there's a big spectrum of cravings. So I would say we just try to hit as many spots that we we can in our area. Cham Keat, or CK, and Diana Wynn are the content creators and social media managers behind Hype Foodies, which they created in 2017. It's a lot of work because um, some of the videos aren't like the same. Like sometimes we use an iPhone, it only takes like an hour to edit. Sometimes we use like a mirrorless camera and it's like a whole production. Like we'll film like a commercial video for a restaurant. Those take like maybe like four hours to make. And then um, you have to color correct and Voiceovers are tough because you know like we're kind of a uh, naturally introverted so people don't know that they think like we're like wow hype foodies you guys are hype CK and Diana may be shy but it didn't take them long to make the bold move to focus on hype foodies full time I got my degree in psychology and then applied behavior analysis um, I worked really hard for my degree uh, so it was a lot of stress trying to leave my job and then transition over to Hype Foodies. Learning that this is my passion now, it was it was not as hard as I thought it would be. I've seen like all the long hours that she's uh, done to study for her degree, right. so it's like hard for her to like to let go. Like oh okay, yeah, let's a lot of tears. <laughs> 2020 happened and I lost my job, and then that's when I decided to make like the LLC for Hype Foodies. The first year was kind of rough. Like I wasn't sure like how we would monetize this, and then. Now we do the account management, so that's been kind of like our saving grace. Now Hype Foodies has more than 80,000 followers on Instagram and 80,000 on TikTok. But these budding social media stars come from humble beginnings. My mom escaped the Cambodian genocide. She came here in the 70s. Yeah, she had like a rough time. Like she had to escape gunfire and hide in the jungle. And she escaped to Thailand, a, a refugee camp, and then came here. And then she kind of worked like two jobs to survive. My dad is Vietnamese, my mom's Cambodian. They both actually escaped to Thailand and the Philippines and then came to America. My dad started off working at 7-Eleven. My mom worked at a flag making company. Um, so she was just a seamstress there. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so they- Yeah, <laughs> it's just been like, I don't A lot of work, a hard work. Yeah, and like yeah. Uh, section eight housing, food stamps. CK and Diana say their journey shaped who they are today, and they'll keep using their platform to spotlight small businesses and support their community. What do you want your followers, your fans, your friends to learn and to gain from Hype Foodies? Keep an open mind, like, you don't need to just go to like the top 50 restaurants. There's other places that have amazing food. You just don't know about it because, you know, they might be like off the beaten path. Be open to anything and everything. Bet you're hungry now. <laughs> Hi Foodies is hosting a block party next month in Annandale to celebrate restaurants, artists, and other businesses that have helped them grow. Tickets are selling fast.